when you buy your garage doors off of Craigslist, make sure before you drive two hours to go pick up the door that the person listing the ad knows the difference between a 10 by 13 door and a 13 by 10 door. So what happened was I responded to a 10 by 13 door, went down to go look at it and it was a 13 by 10, which means it was 13 feet wide by 10 feet tall. Well, I had already driven down there and looking at the construction of the door, I, I thought that I might be able to actually use it anyway. So, what I have here is one of those panels and I have just implemented my solution. I don't know how much light's in here, but what I did is I cut the door down to the width that I need. This is styrofoam, this is poly, polyurethane foam in here. And then I just cut straight through the rubber gasket. You can see the, the panel that I cut off right here. That's what a garage door looks like. So, I basically just cut this little section off. I made one test cut before I did this. That's what that little piece is. I just wanted to test what it was like. And it seemed to, seemed to work out okay. So then, you take the end piece, slide it under your rubber, and uh, you have a brand new garage door, the width you need. So, first thing you do, find your mark, and you double check your mark, oh my god, that was the wrong mark, that's not good, that's why we double check, so, now you find your mark again, alright, 15, good. Let's measure from the other end. Make sure we have the right width door. This should be 126 and a quarter. Alright, All right, that's what it is. Yep, alright. So that's what it is. So I'll take my T square, make sure I got a nice square cut. I still don't know if you can hear me at all. Fine. Make sure my tooth bar gets caught on my shirt. And again. And then cut it out. Cut it out! Cut it out. So, the other thing that I did, just so you know, is I'm using a laminate blade. And for the people who have used the skill saw before, they know that this blade is backwards. And the reason it's backwards is because I heard when cutting things that you're not supposed to be cutting with a skill saw, if you use a laminate blade and you turn it around backwards, you get a nice smooth cut. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I've used this trick on countertops as well, although I would substitute a nice sharp laminate blade for turning it around. So that's what I'm doing. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't get killed. <clears throat> don't try this at home. Make sure you do it in your new garage. That is how you modify a garage door. Smoke. So yeah, that's what it looks like.
Um, hopefully that's the right width now. We're gonna put the end cap back on and right moment of truth. Let's see if this thing fits. As I get everything out of the way. So yeah, it uh, fits in the hole. That's pretty cool right there. So, so yeah, let's say 13 foot door cut down to a 10 foot eight. So one thing I just noticed was that this end, which I have not cut yet, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this, but look at how wavy that is. You know what that tells me? that I'm not the first one to cut these doors. Um, the garage door installer must, New England door, um, must have that as an option. I mean, they must get these doors a certain width and then they can cut them down to whatever width they need. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna cut some more. All right, what we're gonna do here is uh, cut off this end. That's how we make one panel. Cut both ends, and we put these metal pieces on the ends, and uh, we have a brand new garage door that fits the hole perfectly. And our nose itch is in a mask. How irritating. Okay. If at all possible, try to buy a garage door that is the right size. Now, obviously, I am a Craigslist junkie. I love Craigslist. I buy stuff off there all the time. Um, and I made, this, I made this door work. I love it now. It's, it's a solid, solid door. And I had the right springs for it, and everything worked out in the end. But this is kind of a lot of work that didn't quite need to be done if I had just waited a little bit and actually found the door that was the right size. So, word to the wise.